than 300 yards rushing as an offensive lineman, when, when you got that time possession, you're kind of pounding in the second half. Is that, I guess, the best feeling for you guys? Oh, played? absolutely, absolutely. Looking up and seeing those rushing yards, you know that we're putting in work and we're definitely doing our job and exceeding expectations, and that's what we want to do as an offensive line. A young offensive lineman, what part of the game do you really felt you took hold or you felt like you would started to wear down their defensive front? Uh, I just thought, like, we just needed to be physical. So, and just, uh, I just, I pride my work on just being the most, one of the most physical guys out there, and if not the most. So I just try to wear them out right away. Austin, to strive this week with Dylan going down, offensive line gets a little jumbled again. How much more focus was there up front to say we gotta we gotta be even better this week? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, we we had the pleasure to have multiple guys come in and out as an offensive line to keep us fresh and everything. But uh, um, it definitely competition and that helps us like compete one another. So and uh, there's only five spots guaranteed. So and you never know who's gonna play. How impressed were you with how today went? Did you even in your wildest dreams think 375 on the ground? I did not think of 375. I knew we were gonna put up a lot of rushing yards, but not 375. I didn't know that actually. So. Since uh, Bison fans had a heart attack with this Nick DeLuca situation, you know, and yeah. a lot of ambiguity. Yeah, uh, all the prayers out to DeLuca. Hopefully he gets fast recovery and everything goes smooth. So, And he's got a bright future ahead of him. So hopefully I hope the best for him. He's out here, though. I have a good sign, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they were trying to do. So they don't tell me a whole lot. So, yeah. When you run for 375, describe the emotions on that. Uh, I mean, it's just a blessing just to be able to out, uh, be out here with these guys. Uh, just coming out here with the O-line, they they played a hell of a game, and you know, it's just I can't do it without them. I give all credit to, to the O-line. What, what point of the game is there a mindset where you feel you have a worn down or a confidence as a back goes up? Did you, when did you feel that happen today? Um, I felt like second half we came out pretty strong. We made sure that we were going to keep the foot on the pedal and make sure they're not going to have any chance to be in the game. And then, as you can see, we took off on them in third and fourth quarter. And what's it like, you know, you and Bruce kind of splitting the carries, Ty Brooks, so what's it like to be able to, you know, have kind of one-two punch like you guys it's, had? It's, it's really nice. Uh, you know, sometimes we get a little gas out there and then we can have uh, Bruce come in or Ty and, and do be just as productive. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have all three of us to get uh, get out there and get the job done. Seems like on some of your bigger runs you had a little jump cut. Is that something that comes naturally? Is that something you try to set up as the game goes on? Uh, how does that work for you? I don't know, that's just something I really worked on in off season, just uh, my one-on-one -on -one matchups and open space. And it's kind of just kind of reaction now. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's I really, I really uh, think it's effective now. Lance, how big was that at the end of the half to get the interception, get points out of that to go into the halftime locker room? It's big uh, just to have the momentum for the second half. And as you can see, uh, it carried on. You both seem to get better with contact today. I thought, I mean, you take a hit and then you'd bust something after that. Something to that? Just second effort. Just don't let don't let uh, one one person bring you down. We preach that every day in the, in the in the room, and you know we come out here and we just try to execute every every play. Today, a long time coming to have that kind of game you had today. Yep. Uh, you know, th three years of just practice and, and watching Nick do what he does, and um, you know, we kind of found out about how the situation was going to be Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, and me and Matt just, you know, owned the role. And, and you know, we couldn't do it without Nick. He was, he was such a, a selfless leader and helped us out regardless of what he was going to do, if he's going to play or not. And so um, it was exciting end of the game. Put up, you know, you hold him to 13 points like that is just it's remarkable. How personally satisfying is this for you, though? You've been grinding. You said you've been practicing for three years and not have a game like uh, that. It, like I said, a long time coming. I was... I was so nervous beforehand and so excited, and afterwards, it's it's a great feeling. Hey, what's the, like the anxiety or nervousness like when you're going into a game and it's a high-powered offense? You're going to be out there a lot, and they have that up tempo. I mean, what? How do you prepare for that? Um, you know, Coach Enskis is really prepared for that. He he helps a lot, and he makes sure he makes sure he meets with us, and and we watch film. And um, honestly, right before the game is probably the ner most nervous I got. But you know, uh, Friday and you know. Late Friday night, I was okay, feeling okay because I was really confident in what I was doing, and and I know uh, me and Matt had had it locked down. Did you sense Bison Nation, so to speak, thrown into a panic with you know, the star linebacker down? Uh, no, honestly, yeah. there there is no panic when when someone goes down. I mean, it's it's kind of been our mantra: uh, next guy up. And you've seen it with Matt Plank last year. You saw it with Easton Stick the year before. It's it's just something that we're ready for. How much did you want to make sure that you didn't let Gage get out and start throwing all over the place like he did last year? You guys totally contained him today. Uh, you know, that's that's always a goal for any any quarterback that's mobile. And you know, uh, I, the game plan we had, Coach Ensers had it had it to a point, and it was 
it was perfect and it, there's not much more we could have done. For you and Levi, we, Jeff and I know I talked to you quite a bit about that, how both you guys contribute today. How sweet is that? Oh, that, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we're even roommates and, yeah. and we live together and it's, uh, that's another thing that's been a long time coming. I mean, uh, red, shirt, red shirt year, we, we were just, you know, scout guys and doing everything on the, the scout special teams. And, and I feel like uh, for this to, to finally come, it's just a great, great moment. You had a ton of pressure on Ubru today, which I think was different than last year. I think last year you guys sat back a little bit more, didn't you? Did you do something different to get more heat on them? Um, you know, we, uh, I, a little bit. We, uh, we utilized the different kind of package and, and different, different linebackers, and that's, that's a good thing about our defense. We, can, we have more, you know, more uh, rangy, athletic linebackers that we could utilize, and, and so we had a couple different you know, plays installed there. How good a feeling this is to hold Eastern Washington to 13 points on their own field. Yeah, it's just nice, especially coming after last year. You know, the performance we gave out there as a defense, we really wanted to come out and make some plays this year. And, you know, the first drive we were a little hectic, kind of tr tr scrambling to get lined up. And uh, I think we, uh, we settled down a little bit once the second quarter rolled around. And I think we were able to make some plays. And that was the end of that. You feel like you left two more interceptions out there today? Yeah, uh, I've, I've heard that a few times already. <laughs> You know, it's, it's a good game, I guess, when you get two picks yeah. and people are mad that you're dropping them. So I'll, I'll, I'm okay with two picks. Well, what was different? Like you said, last year, Guber was there to go, a pocket, make plays downfield. What do you sense was different this year? Uh, just experience and confidence was the, the two things. I mean, we knew that he was a scrambler, and that's what he was trying to do all game. And last year, we didn't we didn't cover the guys once he started scrambling. We kind of freaked out and went, was going to get the quarterback. And this year, we stayed in our coverage, and we made him – keep the ball and run with it and I think that's not what they wanted to do I think he's trying to scramble to look to throw and he couldn't do that this year and I think that limited them a lot how the team handle just in the game plan without Nick you know change players I mean late in the week he goes out how'd you guys handle that I mean obviously it was a shock to us I mean when Nick's a great player we were gonna but we got to have next man up mentality and Dan obviously he's an athletic player he knows what he's doing out there and I don't really know if it changed the game plan much or anything but I mean it, it changed uh, obviously Dan was in there now and that was it. I mean, that's what it was. We same game plan, and he went out there and he made plays. What can you say about Dan and Levi too? I mean, they were grinding for three, four years hard, and they finally get their chance. I mean, that's what I mean. They knew once they got in there, they'd have opportunities, and they they know they can take advantage of them. And I, and we've seen it in practice all the time. And we knew once they got in there, they'd be able to make plays. And they showed that today, and they'll show that for the rest of the year. A lot of FCS eyes on this one. A little bit of a statement, maybe, on your defense. Uh, I mean, I was glad to put that showing out there for the rest of the, uh, everyone else to see, obviously. But, I mean, we take it one game at a time, and right now we're looking at Robert Morris, and whatever other teams are looking at us, that's cool. But, I mean, we're right now we're moving on to Robert Morris.